So summer is here and I live somewhere where it is very hot. So as soon as it's like 90 degrees here, which 90 degrees is like a cool day in the summer for me, the thought of wearing leggings and something that covers my entire leg just makes me never want to work out. So today I'm bringing you a bunch of active short options under $25. All of these are also available on Amazon. So all of these will be very affordable, very easy to get. And we have a variety of shorts from kind of like flowier running shorts to a classic snug legging fit type short. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you're new to this channel or you've been watching a while and not subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe. It's free, I promise. And give this video a thumbs up if you like affordable activewear reviews. And let's get trying some of the shorts. So Buff Bunny recently released the Lifesaver shorts, which were like a super cute kind of like open flowy style short with a short lining, but they are like, I think like 50-ish dollars, which is not within everyone's price point. So I saw these on Amazon and thought they might be a good alternative. These are the two-in-one running short from 90 Degree by Reflex. 90 Degree, they tend to have pretty good stuff. Like I feel like the quality and the fabrics are always there. Some of their legging designs like aren't the most flattering on me. Like they usually have a top band and a front seam, but these I thought looked pretty cute. So these are only $19.99. They came in a couple different colors. Okay. We're not off to like the best start with like some pretty extreme loose strings going on. Like, I feel like I would need to physically cut this out which it might be okay after I cut it out, but that's like a little concerning. I'll get that snipped. So I got a size small, which is my normal short size. Everything I ordered today is in a size small. And the body of these is an 89% polyester, 11% spandex. And the contrast, I don't know if the contrast is like, this top layer or this inside layer. But anyways, so the contrast is 88% polyester, 12% spandex. So either way, a polyester spandex. We have this elastic waistband with just kind of like a shoelace type drawstring. And if you guys are not new to the channel and you've seen me review active shorts before, you guys know that I do prefer when they have an actual short lining as opposed to the underwear lining because I didn't ask for built-in underwear lines into my shorts. It's not a thing that I really want. So Oh, I loved that these do have an actual short lining. The shorts also have an inner pocket on the inside and the inseam looks pretty long. This is definitely like at least a three inch inseam. So significantly longer than the Buff Bunny shorts. And you still have that kind of tulip shaped outer detail. I think the undershorts are gonna show through quite a bit on the bottom. So sometimes when they're really long, it looks a little awkward, but let's see. All right, so here are the shorts. Um, I did have to tighten the drawstring because without it, the waistband was gaping a little bit. The drawstring is there as an option, so not a big deal. So these ones you're definitely going to see a good amount of short below the outer layer as opposed to I felt like the Buff Bunny Lifesaver shorts. It was just a little peak of the inner short but the benefit of this is that you're definitely a lot more covered. You're not going to risk exposing the cheeks or anything. This outer material I feel like has a good amount of flow to it. Um, it's getting a little snug at some point in the glutes, but it has a little flexibility with this little tulip detail at the side. If you're in between, I probably would size up just for a little extra flowiness, but the inner shorts I feel like are pretty thick thigh friendly, just like a light to medium compression in here. You do get that side pocket in here. And I feel like the side pockets that happen in the inner linings tend to be more secure than a pocket on the outside in this flowy area. These are like about like a mid rise, not super high, but for $20, I feel like these are a nice little running short and I'm actually liking the length of the inner inseam. If you're short, it might be a little long for you though. Personally, I would like them to be a little more high rise. That's part of the reason why I prefer the Buff Bunny Flow and Lifesaver shorts because it's hard to find shorts like this that actually come up to a high rise. These are definitely more of a mid rise for me. While we're sticking with the running shorts, let's just go on to the Blooming Jelly shorts. I actually did review these on my channel once before and I really liked these except for the underwear lining. Anyways, these are the Blooming Jelly shorts. I think they've changed their name to like BMJL or something. These are also around 20 to $22. They have a thick elastic waistband. This one does not have a drawstring, so you can't really like size up for a flowier fit because the waist would be too big. These have a zippered pocket on the outside, but unfortunately they do have an underwear shaped lining with a pretty prominent seam on the outside. So you definitely get those little underwear lines, but I love the lightweight material of these and it's a really nice flowy shape. All right, here are the Blooming Jelly shorts. So these ones aren't quite as high rise as some of the other ones today. They're more like a medium high rise. 
and the waistband in the small fits me very well um, and again there's no drawstring but I wouldn't need it in this size um, they're not like the flowiest shorts so if you are concerned about like glute space I'd probably size up I could probably do a medium as well they're pretty short but they do have the lining on the inside so you're not like actually flashing anyone and there is a pretty prominent seam on the inside shorts there so you are going to get a little line in the back which is my main gripe with these I also like the little like side detail here I feel like that's flattering little zip pocket here it's not like very big it kind of more like goes to the back so you can't fit much in there but overall a very lightweight nice short these are kind of like my ideal walking shorts but these ones in particular are quite short so let's try another new pair of shorts so i got the lavento shorts these are 17.99 so pretty affordable and i believe they came in either a five or six inch inseam but Lavento sells like the same stuff that they have on AliExpress for similar prices. So I thought these shorts kind of reminded me of the Napoa Gym Rhythm Leggings, which are also on AliExpress. So the material is like a lightweight brush material, feels pretty soft. I don't love the sizing of Lavento. They come in like four, six, eight type sizing. And I don't know what that means. The number sizing, it just doesn't make sense to me. So I got a six because a four seemed like an extra small, but then it says a medium is a six, which is what I got. Usually I'm a small, but shorts, sometimes I can be a medium. I wanted these because they were no front seam, and I believe that these are a five inch inseam on the shorts, which I love a good five inch inseam. It's not too overwhelming, like a biker short, but usually still doesn't roll on me. Little gusset, and the seams, they're not like, curved or anything in the back but they do look like they sit up pretty high and here is the look of the fabric it just feels like a lightweight brush material and it's actually pretty soft okay so the sizing on these is kind of surprising to me because what they labeled as a six like a medium in their book fits like a small or even a little bit smaller like i'm definitely getting some squishing of the thighs so i would definitely say these run small, but I would still say that a six is about a size small. Anyways, I really like the material of these. A nice little like lightweight brush, very soft. Um, I also like the waistband here. It dips down to give you a little extra lower tummy control. I just ate lunch, so I'm really feeling like I'm liking the compression on the waist. High rise goes just right above the belly button. No seam here. They're definitely a little on the short side for me. This is the kind of inseam length that could possibly roll. It's not like a guaranteed roll, but likelihood it will roll is like higher for me and just very basic in the back. The seams do go above the glutes, so you had a couple points there. It's not doing anything to really enhance, so we're gonna go with a medium booty scale and about a medium compression as well. But if you're looking for a really basic, not too long, type short from Amazon that's affordable, comfortable, no front seam. I think this is a great option. A similar short to that would be the Camo Fitness Serenity shorts. So they only have a few colors left of these on Amazon. They're around $23, but they have more colors on their website. And the Camo Fitness Serenity shorts, they're just like the perfect little basic short. They're a six inch inseam, super friendly on thicker thighs. You got a seamless waistband, no front seam, very important to me. But these, as opposed to the Levento shorts, have more of a curved glute seam. So they're gonna be a little more flattering on the glutes. Let's try these on. All right, Camo Fitness Serenity shorts, always a classic for me. These are a little bit longer than the Levento shorts, six inches. I have worn these for several workouts and they do not roll on me at all, which is part of the reason why I love these. I know I can wear them and trust that they're not gonna roll on me. Tiny bit snug on the thighs, but I'm not getting cut into. Um, I would say true to size over Overall. If you're in between, you could really go either way, but personally I wear a size small and it's great. High rise, no top band, no front seam. The waistband just kind of flat across here, but you get a little extra enhancement of the glutes with this seam. So we're gonna go with medium to high on the booty scale. And the fabric is just kind of a lightweight, very lightly brushed. So it's not super heavy, super warm. It will collect a little bit of fur or lint, but it's not as bad as some super brushed leggings. Next, we got some shorts from Tom Tiger. These are $24.99. They're pretty similar to the Whitney Simmons Gymshark shorts, but not exactly in feel like a very slight brushed feeling to this material but it's a lot thinner than other materials that we've tried today here's the material very slightly brushed the inside is a sleek material though i've tried the tom tiger leggings i find that the leggings slide down a little bit and aren't the most flattering but i love the shorts the shorts they stay up super well and they're just a great length they're usually about a six inch inseam very stretchy on the thighs like very thick thigh friendly and they have this little seamless waistband and almost that little like 
pseudo scrunch back here. So it looks like they're gonna have a scrunch, but it really just kind of adds some separation to the glutes and isn't like super scrunchy where it's like, oh, that girl's like definitely wearing a scrunch. There's nothing wrong with the scrunch, but sometimes I don't wanna have all that fabric gathered there. Anyways, let's try these on. Also, this is a really nice color. I think this is like the eucalyptus. Okay, if you're like a naked feel type person, the Tom Tiger shorts are so comfortable. They're like, honestly, one of my favorite shorts. I've also worn these to the gym. I have a couple other pairs and I just love how they fit. So first of all, they are so thick thigh friendly, literally no restriction down here. I really like the length as well. It's not too long of a biker, but it's enough for me that they're not gonna roll up. No front seam and they don't have the best lower tummy control, but I like that the waistband isn't like too overwhelming and just kind of hits right at the thinnest point of the waist. And it's a little more compressive in here, but no top band or anything. And these are very, very light compression overall. With that, you're not gonna get a ton of cellulite coverage or anything. And the back is super flattering. I actually think that these get a high on the booty scale just because the seams go above the glutes, they kind of curve around and you get a little extra separation with that little scrunch detail and just super cute. They also sell a version without the laser cut detailing, which I also think is just nice and like simple. I love these for really hot weather days when I just don't want anything that's gonna like feel really hot. And these are just so lightweight and stretchy. Next, we have a little tie-dye scrunch legging from Yorio, I think is how you say it. This style of legging is very popular on TikTok, but they also have the shorts version. So it's basically a seamless material, but a more compressive, thicker seamless. Reminds me of the Success shorts and leggings. So it's no front seam, got like maybe, I'll measure the inseams of these, but this seems more like a six inch. And they have a pretty prominent scrunch as well as a little contour. But with this pattern going on, it's hard to notice it. You just get a really flattering look on the glutes. Here's an up close of the back. There's a little contour below the glutes. You have the seam. And I like how they have like extra space for the glutes in here. So you know it's not gonna be squishing you down. And the waistband is sewn on to the shorts. All right, so here are the shorts. I'm actually really liking how they feel. There's nothing like a nice, like compressive pair of shorts. So these ones are a nice solid high rise. If you feel like some of the like scrunch seamless shorts on Amazon have been like a little thin for you in the past, these ones have a lot more compression to them. These are like a medium high compression. And the seamless material of these is very durable. Like you're not gonna poke a hole in these with your nails or get them snagged at the gym. So very durable. They have some ribbed seamless detailing here high compression waistband. The thighs though are definitely squishing me a little bit. You can see I'm being a little squished out. So not the most thick thigh friendly. If you're concerned about thigh space, I would choose a size up. And then you get the glute contour right down there and the scrunch detail. So definitely high on the booty scale. The seams also kind of like angle and curve up around there too. This definitely is gonna be the type of scrunch that feels a little bit wedgie-like in the back. So just be aware of that. But I actually really like these. And I think the color is really like cute, bubblegum pink and fun. Even though these were ended up being a little bit shorter than expected because I pulled it up a little bit just to be more flattering on the glutes, I don't think I would get any rolling of the thighs. I, okay, I guess I did go a little bit rolling. I don't think it would be as bad as like a four inch inseam short just because got a little extra length here. And the last pair of shorts, these looked cute on the model, but I have tried this brand before and I didn't love them. And I'm feeling like they're not the best again. These are the Om Kagi cross waist shorts. So they look super cute. They had some styles that had a front seam. I specifically chose the style that had no front seam because that's just what I think looks best on me, feels the most comfortable. So they kind of have this lightweight sleek material in the front. And then the waistband and like side of the shorts is made of a ribbed material. So you can see part of it is like a sleek performance, very thin. And then the side is ribbed. I also liked the super flattering curve to the glute seams on the back, but they have this like thick elastic that's set in the waistband, which it's better than a super thin elastic because that tends to cut in a little more, but you can kind of see when I hold it like this, this is just like a cheap elastic that they insert into the waistband. And sometimes that is not my fave. So anyways, let's give these a try. Okay, these pleasantly surprised me. So I feel like the elastic, it's thick enough where it's not giving like a like super tight cut in place. So I don't actually mind that. Um, I'm actually getting a good amount of waistband compression, a little snatching going on. It doesn't dip down a ton in the front. So lower tummy control is not the best, but I feel like we have a good length here and pretty thick thigh friendly. I'm not getting any digging into the thighs. Um, I don't love the ribbed material on the side, but it's not a total deal breaker for me. I like that it has the side pocket anyway. These go like super high above the glutes, like maybe even a little too high, but still definitely 
flattering, like a light to medium compression. Probably not a lot of cellulite coverage. And we're just gonna go with medium high on the booty scale because I honestly feel like this is like too curved. Either way, I actually kind of like these. I think I would get them in a different color just because I'm not a big fan of this shade of brown but I like the crossways. Okay guys, that's it for the review. I feel like we had mostly hits in this video. I honestly would wear any of these shorts. They were all a really good value. I like to revisit the affordable shorts on the market once a year or so. So give me a comment down below if you have tried any of these shorts or any other shorts that I should try. I am reviewing a very popular shorts brand coming up. If you made it this far, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.